Hello my loves, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Silvinia and in today's video we're going to continue with the fashion houses styles dissection and today's the day of another favorite which is Ralph Lauren. So in this video we're going to do a little dissection of the Ralph Lauren style and I'm also going to share with you how to get the look and some outfit ideas. So in a past video we talked about fashion designer brand stylistic identity and this video is a continuation of that one so if you want to check it out I will leave it up here or in the description box. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, we're going to do a little historic rundown of the Ralph Lauren house. So the Ralph Lauren brand was established in 1967 by Ralph Lauren himself. Ralph Lauren, the man, was born in 1939 as Ralph Lifshitz in the Bronx, New York City. His early years in the fashion industry began when he started working as a sales assistant for Brooks Brothers, then as a salesman for Rivets, a necktie company, and then at age 28, working for Thai manufacturer Bobo Mel, he convinced the the company president to let him start his own line. In the beginnings of the brand, it was solely focused on neckties, but soon in 1968, he launched his first full polo menswear collection featuring tweed jackets and shirts. From the beginnings of the brand, the designs were characterized by an affluent style that took inspiration from the look of the English aristocracy and adapted to the sporty style of the American East Coast elite. In 1970, the department store Bloomingdale's in Manhattan started to sell the line exclusively in an in-store boutique but by the next year in 1971 the brand opened its first freestanding store in Rodeo Drive Beverly Hills that same year the company launched a line of tailor shirts for women that combined the classic and tailor elements of its designs with a more modern and more feminine twist introducing also for the first time the polo player logo appearing on the shirt scuff the iconic polo shirts were introduced in 1972 in 24 different colors and for the first time with the logo on its chest uh, as we know it today. These shirts were to become a symbol representative of the preppy look and would become very popular for all generations. Also in 1972, he launched his first full collection of women's wear to the request of his female clients that wanted the same pieces that he made for men but for them. The brand also appeared in movies being in charge of dressing the whole male cast of the 1974 adaptation of The Great Gatsby and also dressing Diane Keaton and Woody Allen in Annie Hall in 1977. The brand's diversification continued in 1978, launching its first two fragrances. One was called Polo for Men and the other one Lauren for Women. The next year, in 1979, the brand launches Polo Western, which was focused on denim, apparel, and accessories inspired by the American Western and the cowboy spirit. In 1989, the brand opened its first store outside of the US in New Bond Street in London, which was the first stepping stone into the European and global market. Seeing how the clothing were associated with a very specific lifestyle, in 1983 they expanded their business to include a wide range of high quality home accessories and decor. In 1986, Ralph Lauren opened its first flagship store in the Rhinelander mansion in New York City. By the 1990s, the presence of his stores and his brand name had become global. In 1992, the Polo Sports line launched with the Stadium Collection. This is a line of active wear for sports and fitness. The following year, the Double RL line makes its debut and is a true embodiment of the Americana and Southwestern style. In 1995, the purple label was born, focused on the most finest tailor menswear. Another diversification for the company comes in 1999, when it incursions into the hospitality industry by opening a restaurant called RL in Chicago. This was followed by the opening of two more restaurants. One is Ralph, that it was opened at the Paris store in 2010, and the other one is called the Polo Bar, which was opened in the Polo store in New York in 2015. In 2009, partner with the luxury group Compagne Francière Richemont SA. They launched a collection of timepieces through the Ralph Lauren Watches and Jewelry Company, and then the following year, a collection of jewelry. In 2015, Ralph Lauren announced that he was stepping down as the CEO of the Ralph Lauren Corporation, though he remained involved as executive chairman and as the chief creative officer. 
Okay, so you may remember that in my fashion designer brand stylistic identity video, we talked about brands following in one of three categories, those being authority brands, lifestyle brands, and iconic brands. And since we have done two iconic brands in the past, Chanel and Dior, this time you asked me to do something different and I delivered. I actually want you to try and guess, so please leave down in the comment section in which category do you think Ralph Lauren falls into, lifestyle, iconic, or authority. I'll wait. If you have seen that video I just talked about and you paid a little bit of attention to what I just said, you already know the answer. Yes, Ralph Lauren is a lifestyle brand. Of course, the brand has some very iconic pieces like the polo shirt and the cable knit sweater. But more than that, the brand is very, very highly associated with a very specific lifestyle. Ralph Lauren is the epitome of the old money style and more specifically the Ivy League and preppy style, which are based on principles of generational wealth and respectable higher education, upper class and luxury. It's also very associated with the American East Coast, so it has a very big influence in the coastal style. So as you can see, it's very linked with a specific social class and therefore the lifestyle. So when you wear a Ralph Lauren piece, you not only wear the brand you also wear and somehow reflect the lifestyle that comes with it as we said in the previous video the products that lifestyle brand sells are very linked to a specific activity or social sphere or a way of living so they're easily relatable to it and they are able to drive the behavior and interest of people because they create and live by a specific philosophy but even more than that Ralph Lauren not only focuses on the fashion industry like we said they've also branched out to home appliances and furniture and even the hospitality industry with restaurants in different parts of the world, making the Ralph Lauren lifestyle extend not only to the buyer himself and what he wears, but also to their home and their experiences and the places that they frequent. The Ralph Lauren Corporation has a brand of different sub-brands and diffusion lines, some more high quality and with a higher level of craftsmanship and some more mid-range and accessible. This happens with multiple designer brands, I would say in fact most of them do this, whether they sell makeup or sunglasses or have more affordable fashion lines, but with Ralph Lauren, branching out is a very very big part of their strategy. I think I've talked about this previously, but diffusion lines are essential for design brands that want to have more popularity and earn more profit since they appeal to the masses and they push forward their brand to people that would not normally be able to access their main and high-end lines. And Ralph Lauren does this very well since it represents the perfect balance between aspiration and attainability for many. The principles of Ralph Lauren are based on preserving legacy and heritage and conveying longevity, timelessness, and style, not fashion. Ralph Lauren wanted to create the typical American classic and timeless style, and this style gave people a lot of sense of belonging and pride. So we see a lot in his designs a readaptation of very classic American pieces, but with a more stylish and elevated perspective. The Ralph Lauren style is a representation of the traditional English country style, but adapted to the American East Coast lifestyle. If you remember, we said the exact same thing in my video about the Ivy League and preppy style. That's why I say that Ralph Lauren is like the biggest ambassador of this style. But even more than a depiction of a style for the high classes, the brand is quintessentially the representation of the American spirit and the American dream, which has a life of its own and it separates from the British or European styles that once took inspiration from. But the most interesting thing is that, yes, it's a brand that embodies the American roots and the American spirit, but that the whole world relates to and loves and consumes. But if we were to summarize its style in just a few concepts, I would say that it's timeless and refined and luxurious, but at the same time, it's unpretentious and laid back. The Ralph Lauren style mixes a lot of prints and textures, which we know is very characteristic also of the Ivy League and preppy style, but without really trying too much. It almost feels as it's like accidentally chic. It doesn't feel that it's trying too hard. Okay, to get the Ralph Lauren look, some important principles are high quality pieces, comfortable and laid back, but also at the same time stylish and well put together. A sense of effortlessness and you know, traditional and timeless pieces, and zero, and I mean zero, crazy and short-lived trends. Zero. So some elements to have in mind are, first of all, neutral colors, black, white, beige, cream, navy, dark green, 
gray then take inspiration from the ivy league and preppy style that will give you a lot of ideas then mix textures and prints then also the concept of smart outerwear you know the sweet spot between comfort and style then another important element is versatility your pieces should be staples that can be worn for different occasions and they should be able to be fitted and to be paired with multiple things in your wardrobe if not most of it and lastly well fitted pieces nothing too tight and nothing too loose in terms of pieces you should look for tweed blazers but any well made and nicely structured blazer would do then polo shirts crew necks and any type of iron or knitted sweaters classic oxford shirts white leg pants shirt dresses and a line dresses jeans but denim overall then moccasins tailor pants trench coats and long wool coats turtlenecks a line skirts wedges flats boots or even cowboy boots cashmere and wool scarves silk scarves and leather belts for textures and fabrics look for tweed pleats cotton denim leather wool and cashmere and for prints i would go for houndstooth plaid stripes and polka dots so that being said let's check out some outfit ideas to get the ralph lauren look So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section which designer brand would you like me to do next. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications down below for more fashion and lifestyle content. And as always, I will leave the links in the description box of all of my social media so you can go check them out. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Ciao, ciao!